There's gonna be a very low tide coming soon and it's one of the lowest tide of the year and Ray has challenged me to a marine creature treasure hunt. This is this pink warty sea cucumber and it's stuck on a fan! Sea cucumbers, they are invertebrates so they have no skeleton body. They are actually quite close relatives of the sea stars and also the sea urchin. You can see it's like it's a five arm sting. So imagine like sea star shorten arm and then become longer. It's actually a sea cucumber. It's the eight arm sea star. Uh, they are actually usually bigger and they usually have eight arms. One of his arms got eaten! So sad! Look at it! Do they recover though? Yeah, I mean sea stars, they are known to regenerate their arms so they can recover but it's still a trauma to them when they get bitten lah. So you can look at the tubular feet and that's how they move from one place to another. That's how they suck in water and get it into their system. These are the egg sacs or one of the snails which I don't know but yes, it's one of the snails. Pretty cool. So many people are these little cucumbers! One, two, three, four! So many! They're only still worth one point. So many! Homo sapiens points minus one, no? You mean points minus three? Where, where? Huh? Oh! That should be quite interesting. It's a patch of seagrass. Seagrasses are always good. There's always stuff there. Let's go. So, why sea apple sea cucumber? Because it's actually really, really, really colorful. Um, it's bright red and it turns to purple and then there's yellow spots at the end. It's really pretty. It's my favorite sea cucumber of all time. It's the sea apple sea cucumber. Orange sea cucumber. Can I get Stop one? it. No, it's different. It's Look at thing. it. No. How is this still the same? Look at it. How is this still the same? It's different. This is quite rare, you know. Like, you don't really get it. One point. Okay, one point. Okay, one point. Yes, one point. It's a cute white little sea urchin. It's okay to touch this one, the thorns are not that spiky, but the long black ones, that one is pretty dangerous. Please do not touch it. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think it's dead. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the usual swimming crab. Uh, swimming crab, we know it by the paddles here, can you see? Crabs, they have 10 legs, two like pincers, and then four at the back. That is the one that we actually eat. That's why you will see fishermen trying to catch it here. Hayden's carpet anemone. Uh, yeah, that was right. This is a baby one and it's alive. Oh, it's actually restricting here. Yeah. The bigger ones are actually more stingy and they have a sticky feel to it. So I guess that's just a young one, still growing. It's a bossy cucumber that is well buried and then we just unearth it. It's so sorry, bro. Like, bye, bro. Come. It's a coastal horseshoe crab. You can see from the spikes here. It's really difficult to find live ones here because if they are washed out on shore, they are most likely dead. So horseshoe crab, they are not the same as crabs and this spine here, everyone thinks that it's venomous but it's not. It's actually pretty harmless. So even if you get poked by it, don't worry, you will not die. The most interesting creatures could sometimes be found under rocks. You have to get your muscles and unearth them. So let's see what we can find. Oh. Heavy. Nothing. <laughs> oh, let's move on. Ah, such a disappointment. Hey. Sea anemone, not alimony, not a anemone, it's sea anemone. When you touch it, it might have a prickly feel, but this one doesn't have. Not all of them are. Clownfish, they live in sea anemones because they have a layer of mucus that protects them from the stingy cells. This is a leaf potter crab. Hey, how much points do I get already? Ah? We're approaching the rocky shore, so the animals you can find here are slightly different. More crustaceans means crabs, barnacles, shell-like creatures. Yeah, that's just rocky. So what you usually see is this cube-like shell, but it's actually created by this woman. This woman is like, how did ever come out? Another sea star. One more point. Okay. Hey. Maybe it's a snapping shrimp, yeah. This one will make a snapping noise where it cut, 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 And usually can't pass. Okay, leave it. Okay. Goodbye. I'm sorry to disturb your honeymoon. This brittle star, 
Oh, it's got brittle stuff because it's really quite brittle. The arms can come off anytime. They're actually not the same as Sea Stars. They're totally in another group. It's a blobby creature. I don't know what it is. A blobby thing and it's moving. I think it's jellyfish, huh? Yeah, these are tentacles. It's jellyfish. Okay. Oh, so cute. It's so cute. It's like it's scared and like it's boxed up. Goodbye, little one. Oh my god. I think it's alive. Oh, it is! So Kauri is a type of snail. Its shell is really shiny. What it does, right, its flesh comes up from the inside, underside, and it will turn over, and then they just keep coating its shell with this layer of mucus that keeps it shiny. So it's natural, you know, it's not like when we harvest, we went to like polish it. It's naturally. Oh, oh, it looks so cute. Hello, little one. Oh my god, so mucusy. Ew. Everyone's wants gong gong. You are gong gong. You can get a lot of gong gongs here. That is literally where your gong gongs get. You eat at Changi, right? The gong gong is probably from here, okay? Yeah. This is known as the orange slug. They are basically sea slugs, but they are attached to the rocky area. Don't need that much water. And so cute, there's this small little eye stalk that comes out. So the tide is in, and that concludes our marine treasure hunting. So I scored 50. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, really? That's right. Must be the Kauri, thank you Kauri. Wow. Ah, I didn't set the heat with the video really see like wow this stuff. Anyway, there'll be a marine treasure hunt part two at a different a segment of the beach and hopefully it'll be as interesting or even better. Goodbye, just keep thinking.